Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Alakai today, coming to you from the Fred Hall Show uh, over here at Long Beach uh, Convention Center. Looks like this. It's about uh, 1250. The show opens at like one o'clock. Over here, um, a couple things that you might want to know, maybe for next year. I don't know when I'm going to be posting this. It's probably going to be over by the time I post this up, but there's parking across the street. It's a little bit cheaper. General admission to the uh, Fred Hall Show is 18 bucks. The uh, parking itself is fifteen dollars more. But if you're gonna go and park across the street, if you less than two to five hours, it's nine dollars. Um, I think if it's just gonna more in that six to ten hours, something else say like twelve bucks. So it's not that much of a difference between twelve dollars and fifteen bucks. But at least it's a little bit easier to find. But you do have to stress about like things. I don't know. Those guys are kind of sketchy to me when they're asking for the license plate number and you know uh, uh, installed number and everything and. Just never quite sure if they're on the up and up or not. They're just going to sign tickets so you can never get a hold of anybody for. So I actually did end up parking over there. But after the fact, I'm kind of regretting that decision. I might as well just pay the 15 bucks. I plan on being here for a few hours. Anyways, when we get inside, I'm looking forward to seeing people like uh, Hookup Beats. One of my all-time favorites. Uh, I'm looking at seeing like Cool Beats Revenge. Looking at seeing uh, um, Z-Man. Taking advantage of all the different seminars and everything they're giving away. But I'm actually going to be here for two days. I'm actually going to be here uh, today and tomorrow. And uh, I'll be hopefully taping some of the different seminars for you. So anyways, uh, hope all is well. Take care. See you there. So we just got inside. Today's uh, Friday. And um, just kind of cruising around, looking at all the different places. It's not that busy as I thought it would be. I have a pretty safe assumption that tomorrow is going to be crazy, right? So we're cruising around. And uh, it's kind of set up not really... I mean, there's some of them that are in lines, but towards the edges and outside, they're kind of more circular, so it's kind of hard to kind of develop a path so you don't miss anything. But um, as I was saying earlier, I'm looking for some specific people, and there's hookup baits right there, and I'm looking forward to actually going in and seeing them. Um, there's a bunch of boat stuff on the outside here. Iser Line is here. A bunch of different people. I saw Phoenix Rods earlier. Um, it's pretty cool as you're cruising along here and just checking things out and seeing people actually, you know, putting a face to the name and actually seeing people who they are and everything, but it's uh, pretty awesome. So just got done with hookup baits and of course, uh, yeah, they got me for sure. Um, I've got so much hookup baits, I took advantage of their uh, sales during the uh, end of the year last year. They were just so nice and helpful. Um, I had a chance to meet the owner there, that Chad, I think his name's Gerlach. Um, seen all of his videos and now he's in there explaining this stuff to me live and he's taking the time because it's not too busy I think so it was really good um, Be cruising along here more and hopefully we'll see some uh, other awesome vendors. Yeah, I had a chance to talk to the guys over at cool baits over there pretty good I mean they're willing to talk to you for quite a long time as long as you know It's not too busy or anything here The guy from uh, Wicked Tuna is over here kind of signing autographs and everything. He's selling t-shirts uh, Wicked Pissa we could piss us shirts or something. Anyway, it's pretty cool. He just hanging out, um, but uh, it's pretty relaxed here. It's about two, about two o'clock on Friday, and uh, like I said, I'm guessing I'm getting this luxury today. But dang, tomorrow is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be like Black Friday in this place. Um, I can just feel that because everybody seems to have like their setup and everything for some high volume traffic and making sure people get checked out as soon as possible. I just came over here and I was checking out this. Uh, set up right here I have a ton of different types of jig heads here and uh, hooked up on these stand-up jigs that went ahead and bought a couple of and a couple of their different sizes of their uh, cool swim baits I'm gonna give them a try the idea of it is it's basically you're just gonna like you fish it you send it out and you're gonna let it drop a little bit and you're just gonna drag it on the bottom kind of similar to hook up but these are uh, swim baits with double tail kind of things so we're gonna give them a try the stand-up bait heads actually have uh, flat bottom and little screw like cork screws attached to it and um, we'll be dragging along the bottom hopefully we can uh, attract something down there <laughs> you can see uh, a bunch of cool little stands and everything as we cruise through here the seminars are in full effect and it's gotten much busier over here um, in the course of the uh, the day for sure um, still Friday it's about 3 o'clock 3.30 now I'm just kind of, kind of cruising around and I have purchased a bunch of different stuff here so far, and uh, it's been way more than I thought I would. But, uh, pretty cool. Um, is that you? The deals in itself, I mean, they're they're all right. They're about 10, 15% off. Nothing crazy like I would uh, was kind of expecting, but reality is still better than nothing. And you cruise around here chasing all different kinds of, look at these types of things right here. 
you can check out the action of all these different types of uh, baits and whatnot as you're walking along and learn about all kinds of new products and that's probably the, the main reason why somebody comes to these things. I'll be here tomorrow too, like I said was before, and I'll be here going through all the different seminars, like five hours of stuff that I'll be taping. Uh, for some of them anyways. Anyways, cruising along. Watch it there and just understand that not because you don't want to film it. I will explain it to everybody. If you're filming, nod. Okay. Hey, this is Randy Pringle, the fishing instructor. Here I am at the Fred Hall Show in Long Beach, California. I go by the fishing instructor because I like to teach. I'm going to teach you guys how to do the quick knot. Now, I've been doing this knot for about 37 to 40 years. First thing you're going to do is you're going to put it through the hole of whatever plug you're going to want. As long as the plug is heavy enough to droop the line and make it a V, this is going to be a great knot for you. You're going to take these three fingers, you're going to place it behind the line. You notice I didn't loop the line around my fingers. I did not do that. I, all I did was I grabbed that fingers and I placed it behind. I'm going to take this line, which is the tag end, and I'm going to go on the back side, not the front, the back. Once I go up and over, I go around the plug five times, not touching the plug, and hooks. I then place the line between this finger or this finger, pinching it. I hold it here, I hold it here. Once I hold those, I grab the bait, and I slide it across the fingertips, creating the knot. I cinch, always wet, and slide. That's the quick knot. Randy Pringle, the fish instructor, at the Fred Hall Show. It's like I've done that once, huh? This is really fascinating. Here's a inspired bay bass. Kind of lethargic there. But if you look at the one that's right there on the rocks, look how he's just sitting there. And these two right here, beneath this uh, little kelp. I mean, they're literally just sitting on the bottom, right? Just gotta sit there and, I think it's interesting to check that out because uh, they just kind of hang out and just sit there. And that's exactly the way they're gonna be inside the bays, just laying there, right? Just waiting for baits to go in front of them. Not moving around like all these other fish. They can just sit on the bottom there and just kind of chill. Of course, then you also have a halibut here, who's just kind of hanging out here also, just waiting on the bottom too predatory fish are just kind of sit still so it's pretty cool pull it out that link and you're just going to pull it up over just like that turn it around through and just like that awesome wait where did that go okay just like cool. that yeah as I was sitting over there looking at her too, it's crazy. Is that I didn't even notice. I've already been here for like four hours, and I just happened to be walking by again in the very uh, corner, like the northern, I guess, east corner, and I didn't even realize that there was a whole other area here. So there's like a bunch of open doors, and this is the area where it's all full of like the uh, boats and everything, and, and the showroom is just massive, right? I mean, check this thing out. Nothing really for me here, honestly, but if you're interested in boating and stuff, I mean... Just a giant area. It's really nice setup for uh, people who are looking to buy a boat, I guess. We'll be talking about it. And then I noticed that there was some stuff outside, even. So I'm going to go back and check out outside to see um, what I can find out there and see if there's any other vendors. Like I said, I've already been through this whole thing a couple times, but I cannot believe that there's how big this place is. It's just all over the place outside, inside, all these different rooms and everything. And uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, I think we're just finishing off our day here. It's about 5.30 or 6 o'clock or so. And um, I think I can get out here. Can I get out here? Can I get out here? Oh, awesome. Thank you. So, ultimately, it's, I mean, this, the show is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's a really cool place to see a bunch of different things and, and experiment, you know, experience um, people's passion, I guess, with fishing and ask a ton of questions because the experts are here, right? So it's really cool to see that there's a bunch of experts and people here that are willing to talk to you about their their goods. And of course, it's, you know, it's a lot of sales activity and they're trying to sell you stuff, but, you know, it's a show. It's a convention after all. Um, I would say about 40% of the shows based on maybe 40, you know, probably about 40% of the places there were um, all like packages and travel things and people talking about you know, fishing in Mexico and fishing in uh, um, uh, Alaska, a lot of places in Alaska and stuff like that. 
and a lot of people talking about how great it is to fish there and putting together travel packages and talking about cabins and whatnot. It's interesting. Then they have uh, tons of boat stuff there, um, buying boat accessories and and a couple things for kayaks and then they have the seminars and, and overall it's a really great experience. I definitely would uh, I'm interested to come back here um, pretty often, uh, at least once a year at least when it's here. Um, I will be back tomorrow though again to see the seminars. Um, overall though, if you're looking for great, great deals, I expected um, honestly a little bit more deals on plastics. I expected to see a lot more stuff on plastics and just people just like dumping stuff, MC or hammer and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it is cheaper. You're talking about 50 cents, uh, 75 cents a piece, but I mean, you're really normally talking about maybe 10, 15% off. It ain't that crazy. Um, Yeti was here also. Yeti, uh, uh, um, they do a bunch of uh, 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 cooler bottles and whatnot. Again, 10% off. So it's not that crazy great deals that you might expect. You're not gonna get the 40%, 50% off. Um, you're not getting insane deals, but you gotta look for them. There's some pretty good stuff on some clothes and apparel, $20 shirts and whatnot. That's pretty cool. But really, um, if you're looking for the great deals, you're not necessarily gonna find them here. Not nearly as much as what I kind of expected. That's okay though. Um, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow. See okay, ya. so let's take a look at the haul that we got today over at the, uh, the Fred Hall show. Um, so first and foremost, Turner's had a great sale on Z-Man products, and Z-Man was there also displaying some of their stuff. I'm really interested to try these TRD Craws. Uh, I got the Deal, California, I don't know, I got the Deal and Molting Craw in the Craws. And one reason why is the Deal has got this really nice looking brownish kind of green, like a green pumpkin. On the back, it's got kind of a, a, a you know, like a pearlescent blue. I thought that was really interesting. And the Molting Craw, it's got the same type of green pumpkin on the back. It's got like a red super flake. It's got tons of flake in there. So um, for those of you familiar with Z-Man products, I mean, this stuff is made out of Elastec, and it just lasts forever, apparently. Um, the last one I got was Boar Hogs California Craw. Again, these are like a, um, looks like a watermelon red almost, um, weird-looking creature bait. Now, the reason why I got three is because Turner's is having a sale right now. Buy two, get one free. And these things are on sale themselves too, so it's a pretty good deal. It's probably one of the better deals of the show. And the best thing about it is that you don't have to actually have to be at the show in order to get the deal from Turner's. Uh, additional to that, they have a bunch of clearance bins, and on the clearance bins, I found some of the sprayed green flapping craws, turbo craws, and boar hogs. Again, these things are a buck ninety-seven a piece, and they're just kind of in these giant bins. They were actually pretty gross because um, they had a lot of Berkeley stuff in there, and just things were open. And so the stuff on the bottom is just like covered with like stickiness and nasty, smelly stuff. But uh, anyways, so got those things. Got the finesse bullets. Um, this is, uh, I've got a video about how to rig these things together. This is a Ned Rig type of, uh, um, of weight. And um, I'll be posting up the video about what Z-Man told me about how to use these things. The weird thing about Z-Man is that they have these odd... Uh, systems one fifteenth, one tenth, one sixth, one fifth of an ounce. I I don't know why. I got one fifth of an ounce just because it's closer to one quarter that I normally use. But it's a weighted hook. It's got weight on the uh, outside of the hook, and then it's got the bullet front too. Uh, cool Bates was there talking to me, and uh, we had a long conversation about what to use, what he likes to use for spotties. Um, I'm not exactly sure who he was, but just another sales guy there that actually went fishing and caught a few. Um, I got the natural, the brown with the red uh, kind of nose underspin, and again, I'm going to be trying out some swim baits this uh, next uh, spring to summer um, using cool baits. Um, hookup baits, of course, one of the things I was really looking forward to, one of the guys I was really looking forward to, had a chance to talk to Chad Gerlach, the owner, and um, yeah, he had a couple of recommendations for me, of course. Um, this is a gold, I'm not even sure what color this is, I'm not even 100% sure, I, what is this? White. I ended up getting a white. Okay, Shad White. Um, and then the Chovy and a quarter. Of course, everybody knows I like to use those things. I got the sardine green, and then I got the sardine green in a 3 8 What I didn't realize, I never bought the 3 8 ounce before, is there's only two of the baits in the 3 8 ounce. This one is $10 in itself, making those things about 5 bucks a piece. That's, whoo, that's a big bite right there. But anyways, if you buy $50, you get 15% off. So I'm set up for a hookup baits, and I'll be done with that for... Probably this summer, ready to go into the next season. Um, and I already have a few packs from, from Christmas time. 
I met up with another guy there who's talking to me about spotties and different opportunities and different things that he has. These are stand-up baits talk, you know, with different types of different little swim um, plastics. Um, and he was good enough to rig up a couple of them. He actually gave me those free and told me how to use these types of new uh, stand-up uh, lead weights. with So these little swim jigs actually pop up from the bottom. That's what's happening here. So these are rigged t uh, Texas. They're weedless. You, of course, attach it here. They've got a little corkscrew in the nose. And as you ring along, it looks like the um, the little guy is just kind of um, in a death spiral or, or just kind of drag along the bottom, and this thing kind of teeters back and forth. So I thought that would be interesting and trying. That's going to be a new one. And, of course, Big Hammer was there selling their stuff, and I got the Spotty Special, got a couple of Christmas, and then the clear translucent with the, uh, um, the red flake. Uh, these guys were selling their stuff for like 50 cents a piece, I think. So, again, the actual stuff that people were selling, I think these guys are a pretty good deal. These are two for five bucks for the um, the lead heads there, so that's pretty good. Cool baits, so seven dollars. Honestly, um, Turner's had it on cheaper for like six bucks, I think, like that. But this guy was good enough to talk to me for a while and tell me what he was using and different techniques. So, happy to buy it from him. Z-Man stuff, you don't have to go to Fred Hall. You can get it from any Turners. Take advantage of that sale. You're not going to get those clearance ones, though, for $1.97 a piece. But, you know, hey, those are just extra. And hookup baits, you can actually get their stuff online, but you will be paying for shipping. So, honestly, for the total cost of going to Fred Hall at 30 what was it, 33 bucks? it was $15. Well, actually, I actually paid 12 bucks for uh, parking and uh, 18 bucks to walk in the place. So it was about $31 in the end. Get the stuff. It doesn't really equal out. But I wasn't really shopping for anything big anyways. No reels, no rods, nothing like that. I'm just kind of uh, there to learn and to take advantage of some of the different sales and, and see what they guys got. I also bought a bunch of these, this um, Zip Fizz um, stuff. And the cool deal, one of the best deals of that is that they give you the, the water bottle. And then um, tomorrow I can get as many uh, refills of this as I, I, I want. So um, as I mentioned several times, I will be heading back tomorrow. But tomorrow is really going to be just about seminars and taking a bunch of classes and sitting there. So um, today was really my shopping day. Um, so tomorrow I'm really paying for the education more than anything else. Of course, I got myself some of the different catalogs and got some stickers and stuff. Bloody Dex was there. Got, you know, a little uh, floating thing for the keys uh, for keys and of course I got a sweatshirt um, from Pelagic I just can't seem to resist buying stuff from Pelagic I love these guys a lot <coughs> cool sticker if I can reach it uh, cool sticker I did happen to see um, a little bit of uh, one seminar I'll be showing that right about here uh, from Berkeley and Abu Garcia talking about um, some fishing uh, fishing instructor and uh, he's talking about different types of knots and different way techniques to um, to actually fish. It was really cool the way he did like a little flick. I'm gonna be practicing that a lot with my uh, baitcaster reel. So, anyways, overall, Fred Hall, well worth it for the education. Well worth it to uh, to talk to people. Um, if you're actually into buying reels, or if you're actually looking to buy a you know a boat or learn more about this stuff, this is the place to be at. For someone like me who's just kind of looking to um, to shop around and find different hints and tricks. Eh, the deals are okay, but I don't know if it's thirty dollars okay. So uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow to uh, learn a little bit more. Thanks all. Hope it helps. Take care, bye. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking out my video. If you have a chance, please hit like and subscribe. Comment below if you can. Let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I'm doing right. What you'd like to see more of? Anything of like like that. Um, anyways, we'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.